Ukrainian troops from the 95th Separate Air Assault Polisia Brigade have broken through another section of the Russian border. Communications Office for the Ukrainian Air Assault Forces Command reported this. Units from the 95th Separate Air Assault Polisia Brigade of Ukraine's Air Assault Forces have broken through one of the sections of the Russian border. This is the second successful operation to penetrate the Russian border since the beginning of the operation in Kursk Oblast of the Russian Federation, Communications Office for the Ukrainian Air Assault Forces Command said. Ukrainian forces have posted a video showing the breaching of engineering barriers with airborne assault units advancing into Russian territory and initial clashes in the border area where Ukrainian tanks engage a Russian strongpoint. The military has not revealed the exact location of their breakthrough of the border with Russia. Recall the Ukrainian operation in Kursk Oblast began on the 6th of August 2024. As known from open sources, the core of the Kursk operation consisted of two brigades of Ukraine's air assault forces, the legendary Lviv 80th Brigade and the newly formed Chernivtsi 82nd Brigade. In the second week of the operation, part of the 95th Air Assault Brigade joined them. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky, in an interview with the American weekly The New Yorker, said that the operation of the armed forces of Ukraine in Kursk region has already brought certain results, one of which is to reveal to Russians the true attitude of their president, Volodymyr Putin, towards his own people. This move caught many by surprise, including Russia and Ukraine's allies in the West. It marked the first time in more than 80 years that Russian territory had fallen under the control of an outside power. After initial allocating about 1,000 troops and dozens of armored vehicles for the operation, it is estimated that Ukraine now has several thousand troops and hundreds of armored vehicles operating in Kursk. This is not the first time that forces aligned with Ukraine have entered the territory of the Russian Federation. In May 2023 and again earlier this year, anti-Putin Russian forces from the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps entered Russia's Belgorod Oblast and captured a few border towns. However, it is now clear that Ukraine's current operation in neighboring Kursk Oblast is different. Earlier incursions into Russian territory relied on ethnic Russian units and if Ukrainian military units played a role, it was not made public and was likely minimal. This time, the operation in Kursk Oblast is predominantly being carried out by regular Ukrainian units. Under extraordinarily tight security, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday visited the Pennsylvania Ammunition Factory that is producing one of the most critically needed munitions for his country's fight to fend off Russian ground forces. His visit to the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant kicked off a busy week in the United States to shore up support for Ukraine in the war. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. As Zelensky's large motorcade made its way to the ammunition plant on Sunday afternoon, a small contingent of supporters waving Ukrainian flags assembled nearby to show their appreciation for his visit. The area around the ammunition plant had been sealed off since the morning, with municipal garbage trucks positioned across several roadblocks and a very heavy presence of city, regional, and state police, including troopers on horseback. The Scranton plant is one of the few facilities in the country to manufacture 155 millimeter artillery shells. Zelensky was expected meet and thank workers who have increased production of the rounds over the past year. The 155 millimeter shells are used in howitzer systems, which are towed large guns with long barrels that can fire at various angles. Howitzers can strike targets up to 15 miles to 20 miles away and are highly valued by ground forces to take out enemy targets from a protected distance.